But book talk. I mean, let's let's get this out of the way. But book talk. Like book, book talk. talk was hard for me this week, just because I started a couple books, started devotionals, and I just couldn't really push through anything good fiction wise. Like, well, I, I need I need you to I need you to fucking reach out to me, bro, because I've got. I've got a backlog of stuff that I want you to check out. I got a backlog of my Audible. I've got stuff, bro. But I need I need the next fix, bro. I I've got fix. stuff. Listen, you sent me the one. I'm I gonna sent, touch I that sent it one. To you. Once I get another two credit or three, credits, I've already cycled through that one like fucking seven times now. All right, it's the bee's knees. I'm gonna touch it. I love it. I'm gonna touch it. All right, because. Book uh, okay, so we're we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna, we're gonna, talk, we're about gonna it talk about it because I sent it to you in like two or three days. Talk, I'm gonna and touch on it, and, and you're going to, and I'm going to try and get you to touch on. It. Okay. Uh, Shadow of Shadow and Sea of the Elder Empire. Yeah, the Elder Shadow Empire. Book One, and it's best-selling author of the Cradle series. Will White. I almost said real right. Will Will White. White. Ooh, tongue twister. <laughs> we've talked about Will White before. We have. And um, we've I think we've touched on this book series, but that's gonna be the next one I touch on. So But I don't think we've fully touched on we, this. We've series. not fully touched on it. And because like I had a rough week for book reading, like I was It doing... was like maybe a ten second touch on because there was another book you were reading that was prevalent for yeah. that week. But like I, I was I, I had a rough week because I didn't have anything really good to read. Um but so with the with the um Will Wright. Will White. Um <laughs> I have the link. Of it's Shadow and Sea, the Elder Empire unique function of this book series. It's a it's a three book series all encapsulated all by itself. However, he did another three book series from the perspective of a completely different character of the same series. Of it's the it, everything is universe. happening at the exact same time, <gasps> bro. Let's go. Oh, so look. so like you read one book and you get everything from this character's perspective, and then you read the other book and you get everything from this character's perspective, and it's so it's very fascinating. But this one in particular is about a girl who, her in her. When she was a little girl, she was picked up by a dude, and she was essentially being trained to be an assassin. Yep. Right? Um, and, you know, she she was taught to, like, you know, convince these, you know, bait these guys into an alley, and she stabbed them to death and stuff like this. And then as she's doing that, the proper Assassin's Guild gets hired, called the Consultant, gets hired to go by by rich family members to go take care of this guy and get their children back. Well, she doesn't have a family. So they're like, well, you killed the guy we were after, and you seem just, like, not affected by this at all. You just wanted to take a nap. So, yeah, we're you're one of, we're going to bring you in. And it, it's kind of, and we do time skips. Like, it goes back in time to, like, her being trained and like stuff like that. And then we go into the modern times where there's a bunch of shit that's gone down and she's dealing with potential disasters for the consultants guild going forward. And she's a badass. Like she's an absolute terrifying badass. Sounds like that's going to be the next book series it, that I just freaking destroy. It's awesome. Like I love the series so much. I'm excited. I really am. That's gonna be the next one I touch. There, there's something I I did want to. That's very important for that book series. Series I wanted to bring up is the world that they're based in. Which one? The uh of of was it of Shadow and Sea? Okay. Yeah, of Shadow and Sea. That that world that they're based in has a lot of like eldritch monsters. Okay. Like like you're thinking of like that 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 H.P. Lovecraft. Like you describe horror and the in the creatures in this world that they're fighting against and that they're sometimes they're taming these creatures, sometimes they're fighting against these creatures, sometimes they're using them to gain power and stuff like this. Yeah. But because of these creatures, it adds this whole new dynamic. And I love I love the concept of dealing with monsters that are so 
like out of this world and so they're so wildly alien that the human mind can literally not comprehend them but this is a world where the human mind can't comprehend them but humans have been fighting them for thousands of years and succeeding so we can comprehend them just not comprehend them some people can comprehend them if they're careful okay but you can lose your mind and there, there's, like, powers and abilities related to integrating with these creatures and stuff like this. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm excited to jump into that series. I want you to get into that series. I really am. Because I don't know, I don't know if any of our viewers have noticed, but I get, like, really super excited whenever my friends is like, so I was reading this. 